Hey, Dad. Oh, good guy. So this morning when I came into the shop, of course, Bob was here. Mm -hmm. And that got me thinking and wondering. Well, Bob's quite often here, so I often think and wonder. Over the years of Sound of Music in our various locations, have there been other Bobs, other characters who who we love dearly, who just come hang out and share the news of the world and are just characters when they come in? Would you well, like to tell me about a couple of them? I'm sure there are, because well, well, music story. Well, you actually have one working with us. That's true. Right, Carlos, right, when he first came to Canada um, from Mexico. Mm -hmm. right, and his wife Betty was shopping in the Seven Oaks Shopping Center. He would come in and play the piano on, a, on an evening, right, uh, the digital pianos on an evening, right, for an hour, an hour and a half, right. And it was cl clockwork every, every Friday night, right, he was in, right, and said, there was a, within one year I will be buying one of these. And he did. He bought one within one Good. year. Good. Anyway, like Robert even delivered it to him back in those days, believe it or not, right. A long time ago. A long time ago, yeah. And then, uh, of course, we also had you know, you know some of these folks, right? That uh, whenever I was in going into a shopping center, even as a kiosk, right? Mm -hmm. We'd have, have our Lloyd Sandhoffs show up, right? Or our, you know, friends show up, and you know, there's Jim. Jim's show up, right? It goes on and on, right? And there were actually even uh, in the early days of sound of music in the Langley store. There were some gals. There was uh, Esther Dick, right, who taught piano. Well, she would just wander in, just have a chat, right. Or there was Joyce Thompson, oh. right, right. There's another one who used to just come in and buy her music books, but then hang for, you know, twenty minutes, thirty minutes, just. Oh, no, and Joyce, just, like three hours later. <laughs> just doing away, right? and so over the time, of course, they become like like family, mm -hmm. like friends, friends of the sound of music. Right. And yeah, and, and uh, of course, and we've got them so that when they're passing on, right, we get phone calls from their children, right, and that kind of a thing that happens just to let us know, keep us up to date with what's happening with their moms and dads, right, and even right, with their moms and dads would even let me know about their grandma, their, their moms and dads, <laughs> right, so I had even heard about grandpas and that kind of situation, right, so, and grandmothers, right, passing along, right, that have dealt with sound and music. Uh, I was thinking just, we just started the month of April here, right, and in 1967 is right when we actually became a limited company. So this is actually our first 50 years of being a limited company, even though we've been in business now 52 years. And how come we became a limited company two years in? I mean, okay, so what you do, right, with a limited company, right, well, first of all, you didn't have a lot of money, right? True. In, in the investment of the thing. But what a limited company does is it takes away your, your personal, personal li liability. liabilities, right? So then they couldn't attach, in those days, to Robert's house, for example, or to his personal cars. He used to like to collect cars. He did right? have many cars, yes. Right, that kind of stuff. But yeah, so it was just a limited thing, and you're signing on behalf of the company. Unless you sign on behalf of yourself and the company, which uh, generally the banks and credit unions and so on would prefer if you did. Aren't that. such they, a fan they, of. Yeah, no, they they actually prefer you to sign your 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 personal signature as well as the company's signature. Oh, do they now? Yeah, yeah, that's mm. uh, it gives gives them a, a more protection. Right? It would give them more protection. You less, them more. That's exactly right. Anyway. Cool. Well, I will let you get back to doing stuff. All right. Talk to you again.